Hello, and welcome to Like a Native Speaker. In this week's lesson, you're going to be learning about transitive and intransitive verbs. Transitive and intransitive verbs? <laughs> okay, okay, relax. Those words sound complicated, sound difficult, but it's actually not that big of a deal. This is one of the fundamentals of English grammar and something that many, many students get wrong. Basically, when we talk about transitive or intransitive verbs, what we're actually talking about is objects. So, you're super smart, so you know that English is subject, verb, object. The object is generally the thing receiving the verb, receiving the action. But there are two kinds of objects, direct and indirect. A direct object comes immediately after the verb. It comes directly after. I bought a car. And an indirect object means that there is something between the verb and the object. It is not direct. I went to the store. The store is the object, went is the verb, to is a preposition, it's the connector. So what does this have to do with transitive or intransitive? Well, I'm glad you asked, voice in my head. A transitive verb is a verb that is able to take a direct object after it. But an intransitive verb cannot take a direct object. Or sometimes it doesn't need an object at all. Confused yet? It's all right. Let me give you an example. I ran. No object necessary. That is a complete sentence. But if you wanted to add an object, you need a preposition. I ran to the store. Compare this with a transitive verb. I bought. That's incorrect. That's not a complete sentence. The most common mistake I hear is students saying, ah, I like. What? You, you, you like what? The tricky part is that which verbs are transitive and which verbs are intransitive, a lot of it is just memorization. And I know, I know, you hate memorization, I hate memorization, but sometimes that's what you have to do. However, there is a guideline that can help. Usually, intransitive verbs are verbs of movement. Go, run, walk. Another example of an intransitive verb is happen. So transitive verbs require an object, and it's generally a direct object. Intransitive verbs do not require an object, and usually there's a preposition or an adverbial phrase after the verb. Some verbs are the third category, bitransitive. As you can probably guess, a bitransitive verb is one that can be used in a transitive situation or an intransitive one. Often the meaning can change. As an example, he runs to the store. It has that feeling of movement. Now, if we change it, he runs the store. It is actually correct because run is a bi-transitive verb, but the meaning is completely different. In case you were wondering, he runs the store means he manages the store, he controls the store. So transitive and intransitive verbs are very important, basic parts of grammar, and they're connected with how you use an object with the verb. There are three kinds, transitive, intransitive, and bitransitive. Transitive requires a direct object. Intransitive does not require an object, but if there is an object, there is usually a prepositional phrase or an adverbial phrase. And bitransitive verbs swing both ways. You can use them transitively or intransitively. But be careful, because some verbs change meaning when you use transitive or intransitive. Now you are masters of verbs and objects. If you have any questions, you know what to do. And as always, Thank you for subscribing, and I will see you next time. A direct object come a drip. <laughs>
Airplane, airplane, why don't you go away? I don't want you here. You are stupid and you suck.